I'm Susan Drucker, I'm an audiologist and I work at the hospital for sick children. When I ask the kids how they like the Aussie, um, they many of them tell me that they love it. Um, and we don't have to have too much of a conversation after that. Um, I think that that pretty much sums it all, sums it up quite well that they just say that they love it. And I think the fact that they're wearing it is very telling because if it didn't help them, they wouldn't wear it. I think that they're happy to hear better. So I think, you know, they initially, the business of no feedback and being able to wear a hat, being able to have the option of using it with the aqua accessory uh, for swimming is really good. And then I think once they get over all of those things, then they're just happy with the way that it sounds. It helps them at school, it helps them when they're out with their friends, and you know, that's huge for kids. We know in kids that high frequency hearing is very, very important because so many of the sounds of language happen in the high frequency range. It's, high frequency hearing is important for everybody for sure, but we know that in terms of language acquisition, kids who don't hear high frequencies have a really hard time developing speech and language along a normal trajectory. So having the ability with the Aussie to improve high frequency hearing is going to have a, a great outcome um, for them in terms of acquiring speech and language, developing good articulation, hearing all those F's and S's really does make a big difference in terms of how their language develops and how their speech develops. They sound like kids who don't have hearing loss and that's huge. And kids are happy to transition away from headbands and abutments. They're happy that the Aussie um, is not feeding back the way that their previous technology did. They're ha happy that they can wear a baseball cap and a helmet and go cycling and skating and doing all those things that their, their hearing peers are doing. I think that I never really appreciated how much a kid wants to wear a baseball hat. <laughs> and, in, and we activated somebody, a little boy who was maybe eight years old, and his mother was saying that he was so excited and he whipped his baseball cap out of his knapsack and he put it on his head and he was able to hear and wear a hat. And uh, he was just over the moon. He was so happy and his mom was so happy. And this was like clearly something that they had been looking forward to and talking about. And it was just amazing to be in the room with them for that little thing that maybe I hadn't considered. This is a good option with, you know, virtually no complications, um, that children do hear better, that they like hearing with the Aussie. Um, we can counsel them about having an option for them, which we didn't do necessarily before. I think many families have waited for this kind of technology to move forward with surgical options, and now that it's available, um, I think that they're very relieved to be involved with or getting it.